So, curse solved. I think. At least it should be. Hmm. That was uh, kind of lame, but all right. Luckily, the twist at the end was actually not that bad, at least for an earlier mission. And from here on, it gets a little boring. Nice shot of the Hokage here, at least. Yeah. Wait. Yep, leaves outside are actually moving. Yeah, good detail, not gonna lie. Alright, this is where it gets a little fucked up. Alright, prisoner escorts. There's three of these total in the game out of the 20 total missions you can play. And they involve you escorting a cart from point A to point B without losing or anything along those lines. However, you can recruit a team, and oh my god, I have a lot of dudes to choose from. Shit. Um, Alright, I'm gonna choose Duteous McBronicus team. Sasuke and Neji, which were my favorite team for a while until I realized, hey, Shikamaru's pretty badass, but considering Sasuke may or may not be going AWOL later on in this game, so uh, he's pretty good to show off right now. Alright. Oh, Always gotta save. There's never a bad time to save here at the Hindley Village. Doesn't take much time and saves you from having to spend our two fucking hours and redoing stuff over again. Ugh. I gotta lie, that was almost a deal breaker for me with this game when I realized, wait, when you die, it boots you back to the menu. Fuck. Speaking of fuck, ugh. I got a distance. I'll see you guys there. Uh, okay, we're here. Ooh. So I should take this guy in, right, Hinata? Yes, that's right. I'll take it with By me too. Way, who the heck caught him anyway? Well, uh, um, you see. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> as usual. Um, well, uh, uh, I did. Naruto married this girl. Hmm. What? You, you were the one that caught this guy? Yeah, this chick's kind of hardcore when she wants to be. In time, I'm sure of it, Naruto. This is gonna take a long ass time for that to happen. You're right. And meanwhile, I've just gotta suck it up. Okay, Hinata, I'll take this guy in now. Naruto. Oh, uh, well. What is it, Hinata? Just spit it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, just be, be careful. Okay, Naruto? Got it. I can always to see Shippuden games where Hinata is actually a little more outgoing. That's uh, that's gonna be pretty awesome. But anyway, I haven't even seen any Shippuden games like that yet. Actually, I've never actually owned any Naruto Shippuden games outside of uh, the Clash of Ninja games, honestly, or or Dragon Blade Chronicles. But Hinata was not in that one, which I'm not really disappointed that she was not. I think that was just a really lame retelling of the Itachi arc and uh, Gara being abducted arc. In a really ghetto way, too. But anyway, prisoner escorts expect to run, do this oh, same pattern a lot. Here. Stop sneaking around and come on out! Well, if you insist. Ah, shit! See blue and run! Hand over that prisoner or your dead meat. <laughs> Who are you guys? You friends of his? That's about it. And who are you, kid? Can I be friends with you too? I'm his ninja escort, of course. <laughs> a shrimp like you? Man, they must really be hard up. Say what? Do you what I mean by just getting some ran say? really random ass say actors to voice some mooks in this game? <laughs> Prove it, shorty. <laughs> oh, dude, you can't really mistake uh, Steve Bloom's Zabba's the voice. All right, here's the idea: don't let them kill the crates, and you're basically good. That being said, it's a lot easier said than done because I can see they're already coming in droves. Fuck. Ah, uh, this is this is why there's gonna be one mission later on. That's so much hell to go through, and I, I'm just gonna legitimately skip that one. Although I will give it like a couple of times. Although that involves saving continually and do, doing all that shit. 
Ah, shit. Oh, oh well, it's, uh, the dude screaming, he's like, get me out of here! Ah! I think that's the same, <laughs> almost the same idea as uh, the Pinocchio thing from Kingdom Hearts, where it was locked inside one, and he was like, ah! You little, just you wait. We'll keep attacking as many times as it takes. Well, then I'll just beat you down as many times as it takes! Uh, to be exact, about three more times. So, yeah. This is why... Alright, there's a number of things that go wrong with the Prison Nash Square missions. First of all, you can't restore the health of the cart whatsoever. You are stuck with whatever damage gets dealt to it. And there's nothing you can really do about it. Two, Naruto has no real way of locking on to multiple enemies at the same time. And cannot really see... See, look at that. I took my eyes off, like, off this area for one second. All of a sudden, there's dudes on top of me. The hell? Ah, fuck. Third of lock on does not favor being able to attack multiple dudes at the same time. It just makes it very like look at this. I can only seriously focus on one guy at the same time. And that's with my attack stat as high as well. So inevitably you're gonna get hit a lot of times. It's only a matter of time before the thing cracks open. I'd I'd also argue, yeah, well escort missions are kinda annoying in general, but this these ones really take the cake. You. I should be told I should be using shadow clones more instead. Just relying on this. Yeah, this guy's cut for this side. Oh god, it just dropped in one hit. Also, rely on your mini map heavily because this could be your best friend for trying to be able to try and be able to tell which side they're coming from and whatnot. Yeah. And the only mi other mission I've actually failed this entire game is the last escort mission, and that is like. So hard to deal with. Oh god. I can safely say yeah, I've probably shaved off about two years off my life just playing that one mission. Ugh. Uh. Mm. Alright, mission accomplished. I may have saying more akin to like a couple months, but you know what I mean. Yay! Dual C times five. It's not that much of a reward, but hey, it helps. And now it's time for the last mission available to us right now. It's going to be, well, basically just helping up Emporium Carmen again. As soon as the load time decides to catch up. How long does it take to load a room with a still image no less? Alright, so basically just need to get the word out, be up a bunch of dudes, and advertise, and so on and so forth. Nothing too extreme, but it's just more running around and doing stuff, you know. It's the same old, same old. And now that we have the red dudes, you're gonna ex you can expect to see the guys with uh, hey, what the hell are those? Mm -hmm. oh, Naruto. Hello. The hell are those things on the dude's hey, arms called? I, I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah, like the arm pull there. things? Yes. I'm certain someone's in the comments is gonna make fun of me for not knowing it, but yeah. When a shop does good business, it makes some people jealous. Jealous? You mean some other shopkeeper has been making trouble? Yes. There's because never not an asshole in this universe. Doing bad things in my name. Female ninjas? Kanoichi? Word has spread quickly, as you can imagine, with female ninjas. Because of it. Because that specifically is going to help out. Reputation. And after all my advertising, boy, there are some rotten people in the world. Oh, you're gonna see quite a few of them later on, buddy. Shopkeeper who hired these Kanoichi, right? No, I want you to fight them off using the Emporium Kari name. By doing this, not only will my reputation be restored, but it can't help but be good for business. Hmm, and that's the bottom line, I guess. Or you're just gonna make yourself a big, big ass target, you know? You'll do this for me. Sure, just lend me the you know what. Do you know what? <laughs> was he too lazy? Was where did? The... Well, I don't even know. Were the script writers really too lazy? To just say flyers. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are gonna love what the hell is about to go on because. Some bitch decided to hire a bunch of ninjas to go around beating people up and saying, We're with Emporium Karin. 
Oh, this is this will be lovely. I dare say, believe it. I'm gonna go shoot myself in the foot now. So you're the evil Kunichi who've been making all the trouble. Don't blame okay. us. We're only working for Emporium Cuddy. Don't give me that. I've got this. But but that's you're the original cutting ninja. Believe it, you. Oh guys. shit! And don't think I'll go easy just because you're women. <laughs> yeah. So it's the same old, same old. Just beat the crap out of a bunch of ninja, and you're basically done. Of course, the Kunoichi in this game actually do move quite a bit faster than the regular do. So always, always watch your back because they are going to attack like no one's business. Die quite a bit faster though. Which is always a good trade-off. Oh, uh, results may vary on that department. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Attack my man. Yeah. Yeah. At least Ryerson's are good to pick up if you're just using chocolate nonstop. Not silly. Anyway, I don't know what the exact number is for this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip back until I get to the Henley Village and do stuff. Alright, so now I've done about five fights. Looks like I'm gonna be getting one more in for I don't even know what reason. But I guess as long as I'm doing this, I can show up my air dash. Alright, jump into the air and uh, press X, and you can quickly flash in the direction you're looking. It's incredibly useful, but of course, since I'm a huge Zelda McCry donkey, I naturally have to have an air dash on me at all times, otherwise, I can't play. Alright, I'm going to nuke these guys now, as soon as I can get up. Yeah! Screw you guys! I actually, do a lot of, like, a lot of damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually use my medicine. Holy shit, I'm actually using it. Oh, these heavy dudes are ridiculous to take down, but we're saying on spams do work on them pretty well. So we don't have to worry about them taking too many hits. I'm worrying, wondering if the air dash can be used for any good combo potential. Not really, no. <laughs> then again, this game is highly lacking for combos anyway, so not really matters. Mm. Oh, jeez. They're so fast! Not like they're doing any damage, though. <laughs> Actually, that's not true because they did actually manage to bring me down quite a bit of health. That's all because I'm kind of careless, though. And that's that. So, hopefully, that was the last time I get jumped before he, I get back to the village. To know my luck, that's probably not going to be the case, but hey, never us to hope a little bit. So, what's the verdict say as to this mission right now? Because now I've just done six. I want this number recorded so you guys can refer to it at any point in time. Beat the shit out of six mobs. If this is the work we can go do an R4 and bring it out to even ten. Time for a quick poll on Emporium Karin's popularity. Underneath um, fucking Toby Tronimo's awesome ass up. chin. There's one. Hey, bushy brow, got a minute? I really wish you would knock it off with the whole bushy brow thing. Yeah, not happening. Shh, don't be such a grouch. More importantly, what do you think of Emporium Karin? That is a nice shot. It is just what a ninja tool shop ought to be like. I think so Lee's always gonna say that because he says that the first time I was playing this game too. Yeah, you bet. All right, that should take care of it. Until some other jack off decides to get the idea, hey, I can just hire ninja to go ahead and professionate this bitch. So why not? So is that the end of mission? No. Huh. Should just go ahead and talk to her again, assuming that's gonna uh, finish it. Maybe. Delicious! I've returned. I'm so glad you came. Well, you're certainly cheerful. Holy shit, she's alive. Here, the shop is completely back to normal. It was full of customers until just a moment ago. So it's, it's always convenient how Naruto walks in when there's absolutely no customers around whatsoever. And my mission here is done. Keep working hard, and you'll make your late father proud. Oh yes! Thank you very, very much. <laughs> All day's work, lady. Now, 
to go off and do other things. Like, I don't even I don't know where this joke's going. It was going somewhere, then I was like, it, 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 nope, not doing anything with that joke. It's like, I just had a paper in here, like, nope, and just tossing that out to the fucking window. Oh my god, different camera angles, holy crap. Hey, B rank. Coastal disturbances. Wait, is this one big enough? Ooh, I think this is where things get a little interesting. <laughs> so I said earlier that Sasuke may or may not go a little AWOL. You might see what I mean by the end of this mission. Since I think I've just gone three missions straight without saving, I should probably go ahead and do that. Because truth be told, this mission coming up is a little more involved than the previous ones beforehand. So it's always nice to bring your A game for this one. Like a prisoner escort, just bring a good attack stat. You don't really need about healing or anything like that. This guy's never really had good regular deal attack a crate. With the point of it's just a bunch of random missions. Holy fuck, that's far away. I'm gonna cut out. So I'll see you guys there.